All right, so the two things that we're going to uh, go over and review is basically what is going to be, what is a prime number and what is a composite number. All right, so when we're dealing with a prime number, all a prime number is, is any number where the only factors are itself and the number 1. All right? So that means the only factors are itself and 1. So Tyler, let me ask you a question, a follow-up question. Do you remember or do you have any idea of what exactly like a factor is? Or what what do we say of a factor is of a num of a number or anything else? Okay. Jamie, do you remember what factor, like a factor of a number is? Oh, I thought you raised your hand. You wanted no, to answer. I was saying like numbers that go into the, the prime. I was just saying prime. Is, oh. Well, that's, that's exactly what a factor oh. is. Well, a I factor is something that evenly divides into another number. And the other thing, let me look at. Let me go back and think about what are some things that you guys have done that have been similar to uh, factoring, for instance, Brandon. Um, some things that we've done is we've talked about factoring, right? Remember, you guys have like factored polynomials. What exactly does factoring mean? Factoring means rewriting an expression, factoring an expression would be rewriting it as a product of its factors. So you're rewriting something as a multiplication problem. So if I take the number, for instance, 6, and if I rewrite that as a product, like 3 times 2, I can say that 3 and 2 are both factors of my number 6. Make sense? So when we're talking about prime numbers, when I say the only two factors of a prime number are itself and 1, we need to look at it and say, all right, so that means no other number can be evenly divided into that number. So for example, the number 3 is a prime number. The only factors of 3 are 3 and 1. You could also look at 11, right? You could look at 47, all right? Um, and there's multiple other prime factors for Tansy. This would be the time. Yep. Yeah, third, I mean, there's multiple others. And we're going to we're gonna discuss more of them um, throughout today. The next thing I'd like to go over with you guys is what exactly a composite number is. So if a prime number has only factors are itself and 1, then a composite number is going to be one that's going to have those two factors and any other factors. So it's going to be any number. with more than two factors. Because we know that any number is always going to be divisible by 1 in itself. So if it has any other number that can be divided into it, then we call it a composite number. All right. So an example of a composite number um, would be like the number 6 that I wrote. right? Um, you could do question like 24, 30. Any number that pretty much has an, you can be divided by another number besides itself and 1. Does that make sense? OK. So you're going to want to have that written down, guys. It is something that I have no idea when it will hit. It is going to be something that's on our test.